Before you can get great results from ChatGPT, you need to know how to ask clearly. Now that starts with a well-structured prompt. A strong prompt gives the AI clear direction what you want, how you want it, and often who you want it from. In business, vague prompts lead to wasted time. So let's keep it tight, clear, and specific. Every good prompt has three building blocks. First, what you want, which is the actual task. Second, the role or context, which is what kind of expert or style the AI should use. And third, any format or limits, such as tone, word count, or structure. Let's look at a bad prompting example first. Write something about customer feedback. Now, what's wrong here? It's too open-ended. ChatGPT has no idea who it is writing for, what format to use, or what tone to strike. You'll get something, but probably not what you need. Now, here is a stronger prompt. Act as a customer success manager. Write a short summary email to leadership highlighting key feedback trends from last month. Keep it under 150 words. Ask me any questions you need me to answer before you begin. Do you see the difference? The task is clear. The role gives it context and the word count keeps it concise. This is the kind of prompt that gets useful output really fast. Here is another example. Summarize this meeting transcript into five bullet points focused on next steps. Use clear, direct language. Remove fillers. Now, this prompt gives structure and purpose. The AI knows what you're after and how to present it and what to leave out. And the more specific you are, the less time you will spend editing later. Need ChatGPT to help you plan something? Don't just say, help me plan a team event. Instead, say something like, act as an office manager. Suggest three ideas for a one-hour team building activity suitable for a remote team. Keep the budget under $100. Now to recap, start with the task. What do you need the AI to do? Add context. Give it a role, audience, or point of view. Include structure. What format, tone, or limit should it follow? Now think of your prompt like a good email to a colleague. You wouldn't just say help. You would say who it is for, what you need, and how it should look. ChatGPT works the same way. Structured prompts are equal to smarter results. In the next section, we'll go deeper into role-based prompting. It's a simple trick to get better, more targeted answers really fast. One of the fastest ways to improve quality of ChatGPT's responses is to assign it a role. Just like delegating a task to someone on your team, you'll get better results when the AI knows who it's supposed to be. We call this role-based prompting, and it's a game changer for business use. Instead of simply saying, write a summary of this content, try saying something like that. Act as a communications manager. Write a short summary email for the executive team based on this update. Now, adding that role helps ChatGPT frame the language, tone, and priorities correctly. Let's go through a few common business roles you can include in your prompts. These roles could be project manager, HR specialist, data analyst, financial controller, marketing copywriter, legal assistant, and many more. You don't need to overthink the role. Just choose something that gives the AI context. Here is another example. Act as a project manager. Create a short update to share with stakeholders on current project status. Include key wins, issues, and next steps. Now, this kind of prompt tells the AI exactly how to think, as if it's a professional in that job function. Now, you can also pair roles with specific audiences. Let's take an example. Act as a financial analyst. Explain our latest quarterly results in simple language for non-financial team members. 
or you could prompt it like, act as an HR leader. Draft a formal response to a question about employee leave policy. Or you can even say, use plain English or make it sound like it's coming from leadership. Now, the more specific you are with the role, the more relevant and professional the results will be. So remember, when prompting for work tasks, always ask, who should this sound like? Once you define the role, ChatGPT can behave like a subject matter expert. Up next, we'll look at how to control tone and formatting. So your prompts generate content that fits your style and situation exactly. Once you've structured your prompt and assigned a role, the next step is to shape how the response comes back, especially the tone, style, and the length. This matters in business communication. The way you phrase things for a CEO is very different from how you talk to a teammate. With ChatGPT, you can control this by adding simple tone instructions like make it formal, keep it friendly, use professional language, or even make it sound confident but not pushy. Now let's try an example. Act as a marketing manager. Write a short social post announcing our new product feature. Use a casual and upbeat tone. Or you could flip the tone and say, make it more formal and suited for a LinkedIn audience of executives. You can also control the length. You could say things like, keep it under 100 words. Make it tweak length or use three bullet points. Now, adding these instructions saves you time editing later. The output comes closer to what you actually need. So when prompting, don't just focus on what the message says. Guide how it should sound. Even a small tweak to tone or format can make a big difference in how your message actually lands. Next, we'll look at how to improve results by tweaking asking follow-up questions, and refining the AI's output. The real power of ChatGPT isn't just giving you a quick answer. It's an ability to refine and iterate your results. Now, think of your interaction as a conversation. Ask, adjust, clarify, and repeat. You don't need to get the perfect result on your first try. In fact, the best outputs often come after two or even three short rounds of iterations. Here is a simple approach. First, ask your initial prompt clearly using the structure we discussed. For example, act as a finance manager. Summarize this quarter's performance in 100 words for a leadership update. Then, if the output isn't exactly what you want, give specific feedback to ChatGPT. Something like, Make it shorter and highlight key achievements or clarify the third bullet point or include more financial details. Now remember, each adjustment brings the result closer to your target. You can also quickly explore alternatives. For example, suppose your original prompt was act as a social media manager, write a LinkedIn post announcing our new partnership. If ChatGPT responds, now, you can iterate it by asking, try a shorter version, make it more formal and aimed at executives, or maybe rewrite it as three bullet points. You get multiple options quickly. Then you get to pick the best one. Remember, iterations work because ChatGPT maintains context. You don't have to re-explain everything. Just refine or adjust. And there is no limit. You can keep tweaking until it's exactly right. Good prompts aren't always one shot prompt. They evolve over a series of prompts. So to wrap up this session, remember the key to prompting success. Clearly structure your prompt with a task, role, and a format. Define roles to get targeted relevant output. Control tone, and style to match your audience, and iterate to quickly refine and enhance results. With these steps, you are ready to tackle practical use cases using ChatGPT to simplify and speed up your daily work. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.
Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.